My name's Kate Crane. I'm back with another video for Gel Press, the Print to Project series. Today I'm going to be doing some finger painting. It's messy, it's fun, it's very colourful, and we're going to be making a print something like this. Now it looks fairly chaotic at this stage. The important thing in this kind of technique is to trust the process, trust the layers, keep going. If you join me in the second part of the video series, then you will see me turning that kind of chaotic print into something like this. I'm working in my Dina Wakeley journal on a burlap page, but also on a smaller scale, here I've got a little craft, craft gift bag, and I've just done it on a smaller scale here to create this artsy little gift bag. Thanks so much for watching, let's get finger painting. I'm going to be using my 10x8 gel press. You can really use any size for this. I've got a few stencils ready, which I'll probably use, and I'm going to use my Talons Amsterdam standard acrylics. I'll explain colours as I use them, but you can really use any acrylic paints. And I've just got some smooth white card. Now I'm not creating an overall piece, I'm creating something that I'm going to cut into pieces. Um, I've got baby wipes ready because I'm going to be finger painting, and finger painting is messy, Although I don't let that put me off because it does clean up very easily off hands. One of the things about this technique is you have to keep going with the layers. It will look very untidy for a lot of the process. So I'm beginning here with a very pale pink. to introduce a bright yellow. I'm going to go in with a little bit of turquoise. And finally, I'm going to go in with a much darker, a deeper shade of the pink. I'm going to add some stencil in, as these backgrounds still need a lot of work. I'm going back to my brayer, I've got some pale pink here, so I'm going to create areas of light pattern. And I'm going to add to the darker areas of my prints to break it up a little bit. colour now and I've got this stencil which because it has text on it I need to remember to place it down this way so that it prints the right way. my two very messy finger painted prints. There's still a lot of work to be done so come and join me in part two and I'll show you how I'm going to finish these off.
Oh, 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 oh,